forgot to ask you how to pronounce it. I want to make sure it is. Dimly as a Democrat. That's ah. she. Okay, Gary. First of all, I want to thank Lindsay and everyone for having me here. Unlike Lindsay, I speak this way normally. I have a nasally type, short throat voice. If B. Arthur and George Lopez ever had a child, I'd be the voice of it. Anyway, my name is Gary Demmer, born and raised in Louisville, Kentucky. Grew up in the Heights Point area. Learned early on in my life, watching my dad work in the public sector, metro parks, and golf courses, and Shawnee, how important it is to give back. My message is pretty simple. It's public service, not self-service. The reason I got in this race is to serve the people, not for my own intentions. I've been actively involved with so many different organizations for the past two decades within Jefferson County. 2007, I really want to make a difference. And I always thought you had to have a high position to do so. I decided to form a nonprofit organization. Instead of hiring an attorney to do the legal work, because that's money that could be utilized elsewhere, I did the legal work myself, studying nonprofit law. I saved eight thousand dollars and went to good causes. Long story short, that foundation evolved. We were able to give out, distribute ninety thousand dollars to various organizations. We sent eighteen thousand dollars to the homeless individuals who were seeking jobs to get identification cards. We also funded the new Cesar Bonpano Memorial Park to fight crimes against child predators. Thanks to Martin Storch and Metro Parks, we stepped up and everyone else bailed out. Now, when I go to church or down, which is another thing we do need to say is gaining, but that's another day. And seeing kids and families interact in that park, I know that we made a difference. It was all well worth it. Since then, I'm on the board of directors for the Coalition for the Homeless. I also serve the Boys and Girls Haven, Girls Haven, I believe the Girls Out, Equine Program. I'm also part of the Portland Museum, as well as the Fight Crime Against Children Initiative. I believe in giving back. But the big thing I think we're missing in the economy sector is our neighborhoods. Our neighborhoods have fallen by the wayside. And I'm going to blame a lot of Republicans for this, because they put this fear factor in our faces, in our heads. We need to reconnect our neighborhoods. I want to see less moving out and more moving in. Heights Point area is very bad at this right now. More business startups, less closing down. That way, we don't have the broken window effect. It's George Kelly, James Wilson right now. You see one broken window, another one breaks. Another one. We need to bring back our neighborhoods. As a child, I know they knew my neighbors. I knew their relatives. We played till dark. We ride our bikes. We supported our community. We had businesses thriving. We had industries thriving. We're not getting a lot of help from Frankfurt right now. But I would definitely want the help if we start on the ground floor first. First thing, education. Education is a problem as well. I've been actively working firsthand with the Parks Department. And we are currently in the process of putting educational programs, health programs within the park system, as well as I've talked to local industries about putting checker tables, backgammon tables, chess tables, and scramble tables within our park, park system for kids to get other kinds of education so they can move forward. We need to move forward collectively. In this race, we went through a redistricting issue. I'm the only candidate in the race who filed in both the new proposed district and the old district because I was not going to let David Williams take another seat from the Democrats. I was willing to take Julia Rocky Adams on. Granted, she may have been the heavy favorite, but she was not going to win without a fight. I know Julia Rocky personally. I like her, except for the fact that she's on the other team. And she has not voted with the Democrats, especially on labor laws. But I think it's very, very important we keep this seat, regardless of who wins. We're going to have a redistricting in two years. But the main thing we need to remember is we are one. And if we let David Williams and the rest of them keep taxing Jefferson County like the way they are, we've got to do something on our end. We've got to revitalize our neighborhoods. We've got to have more block parties, less privacy fences in the backyard, and more porch organizational conversations on the front porch. I want to see families interacting. I want to see the growth of Jefferson County once again boom like it was when I was born and raised here. My first job was delivering the local times. People forget the local times after the newspaper. I took pride in delivering these people's newspaper after school, getting the message out to them. This is so, so important to keep people integrated within our community. Once again, thank you so much for your time. There's a lot of issues and a lot of great candidates in every race this year. But like I said before, it's very, very important that we not let the Republicans take away who we are. They've taken away our neighborhoods, they've taken away our gaming, and they're currently trying to take away our seats in the House and in the Senate. Once again, thank you. My name is Gary Demler, running for State Senate, District 19. For more information, you can go to demlerforsenate.com. And I appreciate everyone being here. And by the way, that means you all took away from Norel Nolans and Shabazz Muhammad. They're not going to sound with you, Kevin. Sorry to tell you all that. Thanks. Sir.